Hello Aquarius and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for June 2020. So we're going to have a deep look in and see what's going on. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. And there's also going to be a divine masculine message for you. Whatever sign they are, go and check that out as well. So we're going to use three decks of cards. Now I already feel it's a powerful month coming in for you because it's a month of power, a month of taking control and a month of realizing that all the power is within you to get the life of your dreams magic is coming in so we're going to use the guardian angel reading cards the witch's tarot and the angel affirmations so thank you angels what do we need to know please for aquarius twin flames during this month of june what do we need to know powerful what do we need to know please for this month of june wow what do we need to know? Wow. Okay, I'm taking out anything that's jumping out and then we're going to do a spread as well. So let's have a proper look then. Okay. So, yeah, we've got the Page of Pentacles. This is powerful because it's showing spiritual growth. It's showing adventure, abundance flowing in. Things are picking up now. Things are starting to bloom. So you're starting to see the magic in the journey. You're starting to see the way forward, that there is a great road ahead, even if you feel trapped. So even if there's still restrictions going on around and you can't go where you want to go or do what you want to do, it's not holding the journey back because things are blooming. And look at the difference in the cards, you know, cold, snow, you know, stagnant energy. And then look at that one, green, you know, warmness, warm energy, like rebirth, the nature colors, the, the grass, you know, the beautiful green healing energy of Archangel Raphael, things blooming and growing. So it doesn't matter if it's been stuck and stale, it's growing now, it's blooming, something magical is coming in. So if anything does feel stuck for you, and I feel the first couple of weeks of June, it could be that way. Keep trusting, keep believing, keep standing in your power, because this is an opportunity for you right now to work hard on you to get what you want. Self-love is the key. And the more you stand in your power, the more victory will come in. And June is a month of victory for you, Aquarius, feeling good about this because communication is coming in. Love messages, this tsunami of emotion, it's falling to you. It's coming in. You're feeling better. And we've got prayer here. No matter how difficult the situation may seem, all is possible. All is possible ask because we are listening so the angels are speaking to you right now saying we are listening to you ask for what you want and believe and bring balance in so balance yourself this month tune into you bring in some calm energy and that will bring in clarity and it will bring in peace so for you you're taking back your power and clarity is coming in your masculine is realizing the truth your masculine is gaining balance and there's balance coming in between the two of you. You're feeling each other, being guided towards each other and you're showing each other the way. So we've got the world there, the promise of union with the stag. We've got the lion there for courage, the eagle there for freedom. And we've got the young guy showing you spiritual maturity, that you're on an adventure and the green man is bringing in the power the connection, the new beginning. So even if it feels shaky because the tablet just moved a little bit there, I'm just going to move it over. Even if things feel a bit shaky, baby, it's showing you your masculine is in their power. They're becoming the emperor for you. They're working things out. They're finding their way. So you're really being called to trust this month, to trust that your masculine is finding their way. And if there's chaos going on around you, you stand strong because you're powerful and all the tools are in you to succeed. So be stronger than any storm. Remember, you are the sky divine feminine and everything else is the weather. And any conflict or fear or worry, it's going into the past, it's moving away. Because loyalty and strength and power and protection is moving into the future. 
And this is the life you're creating. This is your loyal masculine being loyal to you, creating a future for you. The dog there showing loyalty, giving strength, showing you comfort, that great change is coming in, that your masculine is moving towards you and you're moving towards them. So this isn't just about their rebirth right now. This is about you evolving becoming stronger, working on self, becoming powerful and remembering the truth of who you are and realizing there's so much hope in the future. So you're being cleansed right now, you're healing, you're being purified and you're ready for what's to come, you're getting ready. If you've seen the number 17, it's showing you the power of the connection, that you are the high priestess. So this month, it's all about you. It's all about you, Divine Feminine. Your masculine is doing what they need to do, so make it all about you. And I feel it is all about you, because your masculine is thinking about you, gaining clarity, wondering what you're doing, thinking about the future and how they can build this with you, bringing in balance, especially for the first two weeks. And you're being transformed, you're finding out who you are, you're tuning in with self, and it's helping you to move forward. It's helping a decision to be made and it's making you stronger. So this is a month of strength for you, tuning into your power, tuning into your psychic side, drinking it in, getting ready for union, preparing for the future and building something new. So I feel that you're building something this month, Divine Feminine. You're in your power and you're in your strength. You're realizing things, you're gaining clarity and you're gaining balance and you're starting to relax about the journey because you're realizing it's a journey of union with you. So you're finding yourself again. You're finding clarity. You're finding strength, understanding. And you're making things happen. You're the great alchemist here. You're coming up as the alchemist because it's more powerful than the magician. Because you're now cleansing things and creating things and making things into what you want it to be. So you're manifesting, you're molding, you're creating, you're setting intentions and you're building this amazing life and it's leading you to power and it's leading you to strength and your masculine is there, maybe a little bit of sleep this month, but you're ready because he's going to open his eyes, he's going to roar and he's going to come and show you love through communication and tell you how he feels. So let's do a message. What does your masculine want to say to you this month? Wow, we've got I love your body. So you're going to be feeling the sexual energy and you are my future. So your masculine is going to be tuning in with you. So make sure you're feeling good this month, Divine Feminine. Your masculine loves your body, so love it yourself. Look in the mirror and bless yourself. Enjoy the clothes that you wear and the way that you wear them. Enjoy showering and nurturing yourself and looking after you. You know, tune into that energy. If you can get a haircut now, go and get one. You know, I cut all mine off during May because of the energy of the collective. There's great change coming in. So things are moving forward. Look after you. Nurture the body that you've been given because it's a temple and your body adores it. Your masculine adores it and your body adores it when you're good to it. You look after it and you nurture it from within. So remember that. Your masculine loves your body and is saying to you, you are my future. So it's just a matter of preparation. So the angels are asking you, Divine Feminine, to step into your power this month, to look after you and your future, do things for you, build things for you and create for you. And then the doors will open and everything you want will flow in. I hope this helps. Send you so much love. Have a great month and I'll see you soon.